Hello everyone, so this is Editing Liliana coming to you. Instead of me answering your questions today, I have a very important question for you. So in December, let's talk about Christmas. Now, when December comes, you guys know that I always try and do something a little bit special, whether it's the 12 day of Christmas, Vlogmas, all that kind of stuff. So this year, I wanna do something different. I want to do 12 recipes for Christmas. So what I would like from all of you from, I know you guys watch from all over the world, is I would like you to tell me a recipe, sweet recipe, whether it's a cake or sweets, traditional sweets from your country or from another country that you've tried. So then I can pick 12 of them and cook them for you. Find a recipe. If you have a great recipe for it, please send it to me. And if not, I'll try and find a recipe, see if I can source the ingredients depending what's in them. And then I try and, and make them and share them with you on my channel. So don't forget, leave your recommendations below. Hi, mm. Alex. If you don't want to leave them, look, hi, Ethel. If you don't want to leave them below, you're welcome to message me on Instagram or send me an email. The information is below. I would love to hear from you. Now, let's start this video. Ethel Marie, you're looking very comfortable over there, madam. Why well, is the sofa too cold for your bot? Welcome back to my channel, to another video, to Vlogtober. So another day, another dollar, as they say. So we are just in the house. That's what we do. We took Alex to school this morning. We walked and I showed you a little bit. Then um, Oscar's having his first nap of the day. Just finished washing a load of washing. I'm going to put that in a dryer, so I'll have to do that later. I, these days I tend to do a lot of washing every day just because Oscar makes a lot of washing so yeah we're gonna do that so because I only am doing one load today I thought this would be a good time to clean the washing machine as I as I haven't done so in quite a while so I've just clean cleaned the rim and I don't have any vinegar I like putting vinegar and baking powder not baking powder bicarb of soda so i i hear that putting in a dishwasher tablet is the new it's the new vinegar so i'm going to try that out and i'm going to put it on a really hot wash let's see before oscar wakes up i'm going to have a coffee and a little cake that my friend jill made for us delicious oscar's still asleep so i just quickly came upstairs made our beds by the way guys last night we did this okay now his arms stay up here and his feet hit here so he can't put his face next to this so don't worry but so his face is around here and this just makes him feel we think more comfortable snug and um he slept two one five hours and then another four hours before waking up and then he actually slept a bit more after that but you know and we think that maybe this helped we've been using these blankets these are like um more breathable these two but we're actually going to upgrade him to sleeping bag let me show you i'm gonna move i think tonight the midwife's actually said to me at the hospital they don't recommend sleeping bags for newborns uh so we have not been using it but bearing in mind that he's a big chunk of a boy um we think he's ready now and i want to know that he's cozy 
but covered. You know what I mean? So I have this one that um, the Edge gave me and it's zero to six months and it won't fit him for much longer, I have to say. So tonight is the night that we're going to put him in it, see how we get on. We also sort of didn't want to put him in because we change him every time he wakes up through the night and um, getting him out of that is not as easy as pulling the blanket off. But I think if we unzip him in bed and zip him back up in bed, I think we'll be all right. Also, while I'm here, I tried out a six to nine month body. You know, the ones that go under um, the onesie. Let me show you. Short sleeve onesie. Yeah. You know these? So I tried on him a six to nine months and it fits him perfectly. I've noticed that the three to six months are getting a bit tight. And basically, just like his dad, he's got a really long torso and shorter legs. So the onesies, the you know, the, the little sleeper suits still fit him in the three to six months. But the little body suits, these onesies, body suits, I don't know what to call it, but you know, these with no legs that they wear underneath, he's more comfortable in the six to nine months. So I'm going to swap those out, take a few downstairs because I tend to change them downstairs anyway. So yeah, and while I'm here, let me show you one of the presents I got from one of you. I got this, which I love so much. Thank you so, so much, Sylvia. And it's like a Melissa and Doug safari truck but also a shape sorter you know so it has the animals inside you can take this off and then you can put the animals through i love i love i love wooden toys um i know that the kids probably appreciate the plastic noisy toys but that is the sort of toy i keep for for them for, for to give to their own children. Like all of those, most of those up there, not those, but like that Noah's Ark, now belong to Alex. And now obviously now Oscar will get a chance to play with it, but belongs to Alex and will hopefully be passed on to his kids. I just love that idea. Um, yeah, so thank you, Sylvia. So yeah, I'm gonna, I've tidied up up here. I've done Alex's room as well. Let me, here we go. This is the quilt that I made with Alex's baby baby clothes, and that's what I want to do for Oscar as well. But as you can see, Alex really loves it. I know it. that soon enough he's going to be like, oh, that's really babyish. But for now, it works. And again, something he can have forever. Just received a couple of Amazon packages. Let's see what's in. So, my neighbor, a couple of, a few doors down, has just had twin, twin girls. And um, yeah, if you don't know, Hallmark do cards on Amazon. I actually did a collaboration with them last year, I think, on that. So this is actually from Hallmark. It's really lovely. Uh, on the birth of your twins. And then there's blank inside. I thought that was lush. And then this is what I got for the twin girls. Got this matchstick mon monkey teething toy and gel applicator so you actually put um you can put bongella on that little brush um, i actually ordered one of these for oscar as well but these i bought two for her girls and with a card and then i'm going to do some baking for her at some point what else i got i got this to help i noticed that oscar's got a little bit of cradle cap I do hope you can hear me. I know this is really noisy, but yeah. And also got some buggy clip and stroller hooks for the stroller, obviously. That's it. I wanted to show you what I've been using as a changing bag. Now I've got three changing bags. Carly gave me one, uh, like the big backpacks, but they are actually really, really big. So I will definitely use it if we're out for the day, but these days no one's out for the day you know you just go out I literally with Oscar I go out to doctor appointments and very and not very much else so I've got two other ones that my friend Zoe gave me that used to belong to her 
Um, but I actually found that my leather bag works really well. It have been with me for a few years. I bought this bag for five pounds. It's leather, still for sale. What's the brand? Nukuko or something like that. It's over a hundred pounds, but I bought it for a fiver. But anyway, I love it and it's been my day-to-day -day bag for ages. I got this sanitizer. Look, Alex peeled the sticker off, so I need to um to get a new one because it looks pretty awful. By the way, sorry, by the way, one of you commented that you saw that Alex has one of these with his name on it where I got it I'll put a link to that Facebook page below I just ordered it through Facebook but um, I'll probably get one of those for me and just have it there then inside I've got everything pretty much by little bags so I have wipes these are loose because I might just need one to wipe face or hands but i also might need them for the changing time and i use this i had this this belongs to belong to alex you know and i just kept it. it's like a little i think it's in, like a swim bag bath time adventure i don't know anyway it's um what's the word waterproof but i use it i've got in here wipes nappy bags and a changing mat uh, I can also use it, I could take all of that out if he did a big, uh, big poo or I needed to change his clothes and they were wet, I can just put them in here. And then I've got this, which again was Alex's. I bought this in Tesco's when Alex was a newborn for like two, three pounds. And in here I've got a change of clothes, got a onesie, a, no, a sleep suit, a onesie and some socks. Then in here, I have a bottle and one of these pre-made bottles. They've got a really long life and it's, comp it's unopened, but it's in here like so. And I also have his personal child health, my personal child health record in here. Every time he goes to the doctor for jabs, um, for checkup, for weighing, they write in here um, and it becomes their their personal health history really as it says Alex has his own and um, most days this time when I go out with Oscar I have this on me one because we all if we're going out we're going to doctors or health visitors that kind of thing but even if not it's good to have it if you something happens it's good that you have this on you at all times so you can give it to any doctors or nurses so they know your history. But yeah, that's it. And then I also have this purse. I bought this, I showed you before Oscar was born. I absolutely love, love this. It's big. Let me unzips. It's got quite a few compartments. I can put my phone in here as well. And then I attach my keys to this bit here. And very quickly I have, if I need to get in there and just grab my purse, I have my phone, my keys, all my mummy stuff in here. I also have this pouch here, just got stuff. In here. It's got things like a clean mask for me, some tissues, a little shopping bag, lipstick, all that kind of stuff, mummy stuff. And then in here, um, I can put whatever, but I just bought these. These are to hang on your pram, and then you can hang stuff off your pram. So, yeah, that is it. And it just hangs here, it goes out by the front door. The pram is here. And this is my setup every time I go to take the, um, take Alex to school. I have a blanket that goes inside. I have this as well that I love, which I put in my keys. You know, lip balm, tissues, uh, cloth. There's some wipes in there as well. And there's a couple of little treats for Alex. Yeah. So I just hang that there. There's the hat he wore today. I love this so much. Um, there you go. I've just done my 
my heritage DNA swabs. So at some point this week, I'm going to try and get to the post office to post that. I'm going to make lunch for Paul and I. We've got, um, we're going to make some quesadillas. Well, my version of it anyway. I've got, uh, for the feeding, I've got gammon, bits of chicken, there's cheese, there's chorizo and ham. So I'll see what happens. Rookie mistake. I'm not even a rookie when it comes to these. I make these all the time. But you should always cook the cheese side down because it will glue the contents together so you won't have a big mess like I do. Just like that, I've just been and done the school pickup. I'm having my last coffee of the day. And um, this little man has just had something to eat. That little man over there is drawing. Aren't you, Alex? And of course, Ethel is having another nap. Oh, yes. That is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.